Hi everybody, Skunnard here and welcome back to my let's play of Diablo Reaper of Souls Adventure Mode type thing. Yeah! Uh, where we last off we've done a couple of um, bounties, that's what they're called, I forgot their names there. Um, and we're just going to dive straight in uh, where we left off and do some more. Uh, I think this is actually the same one we've done last. Um, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, was it? It was um, the. Not the Smuggler's Den, it was some kind of den anyway. Um, I think this is quite a. Um, short bounty, if I remember rightly. There's just um, three um, groups of these Templars uh, spread out. Uh, among this uh, area. It's quite a large area. Um, and I got stunned. Uh, it is quite a large area, but uh, if I remember rightly, the villagers are all fairly close together. Unless they move. I don't think they move, though. So we'll just get rid of these last few undead. I have my pitiful little dagger that I made in the, just at the end of the last episode. But it's higher damage than um, the sword I was using previously, so all good. It wasn't letting me attack there uh, because it was too busy trying to free the villager. One more undead. And let's free this guy. Or girl, it's a girl. And she is off. If I remember rightly, they are all... Uh, they are all relatively close together. But it has been a while, so maybe... I mean, I haven't played much Diablo in this patch at all. Uh, so it's very possible that they could have moved. I don't know. But we'll need to get this, um, we'll need to get a mightier looking weapon than this dagger, I think, uh, very soon, because, dearie me, it's just not impressive to look at. <laughs> I think you can get flails and the likes for the, the Crusader, as I said in the last episode, never played with a, a Crusader before. Um, so I don't actually know what weapons are unique to them. I've seen, I've picked up some flails uh, while using my other characters. Uh, so I assume um, those can be used by the Crusaders. So as I was saying in the last episode as well, uh, the early parts of adventure mode and leveling up, leveling up your character are uh, until level 70 you're pretty much just grinding um, levels and then once you're past level 70 you're then grinding for legendary um, weapons and armor. It sounds boring, but it's not, it's wonderful. <laughs> uh, I do remember one of the villagers being around here, so I think they may have actually moved. Otherwise I'm just a little um, disorientated. He knew this corruption would eventually destroy his beloved church, and that he must take action. After much prayer, Akan hit upon the idea of an Let's get rid of this wretching cadaver. Cadaver, cadaver. However you see it. And, nope. Uh, I was a bit disorientated. This uh, villager and next group are in the same place as what I... Uh, remember them being in previously. 
Yep, so once we get to level 70, we will start to um, go into, well, you can get legendary weapons uh, and uh, items uh, a number of ways. Um, you can get them in the, the bounties, as we're doing just now, but they have a much higher, uh, I think in the bounties and just in the... The random game world, uh, game, not the random game areas, but in the game areas, the chance of uh, getting a legendary weapon is one uh, percent, I believe. And when you do the greater risks, uh, which we'll be doing later on, I think that increases to ten percent if memory is um, serving me right. Sometimes my memory doesn't serve me right, so. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think that is the numbers, 1% and 10%. And here we go, here is the group of Templars. And I am stunned again. That shield bash is pretty damn powerful, I have to say. Uh, I haven't researched into any builds at all for these characters because I do want them to uh, come as a bit of a surprise. Um, my main character uh, my wizard, my frost build wizard, I stumbled upon the build uh, completely accidentally um, while playing and I think that's the best way we do that could be a better weapon for us I'll check in a little second we do want to make mistakes um, because if we don't make mistakes and have uh, poor synergies in our um, setup, then we're not going to know what is really good when we come across it. Because for my wizard character, I was doing a. Uh, there's two way, main ways that a wizard can really go there's flame and there's frost. And I was um, in the early part of the game. Uh, flame definitely seemed to be the way to go, uh, the damage output was higher. Um, than the frost equivalent, but um, one, two, holy damage. I'll stick with my puny little dagger for now. Um, but in the later game, uh, once I started experimenting, uh, it turned out that um, we have, we do have another. I think I like the blinding for now. We are due to unlock a rune for that pretty soon, so we'll stick there. Um, don't think I've unlocked any more runes for these. No, I have not. Um, so, yeah, I think experimentation is the best way uh, to go for character uh, builds in Diablo. Because what I would say is what works for others may not work for you. And certainly not in every situation. So I find it is best uh, to experiment and see how things go. I'm just going to go grab this uh, double damage orb. And there we go. That sped that up a little bit. And this bounty is almost done. I did actually consider um, just leveling up all my characters to level 70 off camera and then just doing the end game um, as my YouTube series with the the riffs and the uh, the farming for legendary items. But I thought I'm going to be doing it anyway. I may as well record it if some people want to watch that then. Happy days. My faith is rewarded. I have reached level 9 and I have a new active skill category unlocked. Anything else? Any runes? Yep, I have the electrify and the slash rune. So let's go have a look. 
slash. Uh, slash becomes pure lightning, potentially stunning enemies it hits. I like the sound of that, let's try it out. And provoke. Um, yeah, okay. I'll give it a go. I think that's, uh, it seems to be just like a taunt uh, in your traditional, oh that is good, uh, in your traditional MMO uh, type of style, but I'll give it a go. Um, let's return to town and then take another bounty. Uh, cathedral, kill Rageous Grimlock, that sounds good, I didn't even check the other ones, because I could level up this character very, very quickly uh, to level 70, there is a, a set pattern for um, bounties that works very well, but it does involve quitting out and then reloading um, to ensure that you're getting uh, the bounties you're looking for. Uh, great for off camera, but not so much for a let's play on YouTube, but I did say uh, that I will. I hear a treasure goblin somewhere. Where are you, my friend? Don't get through there! It's a blood thief, not a um, treasure goblin. Come here, you little beggar. There we go. So I think that gave us blood shards, which are very useful. Um, there is a... I don't want to call her a merchant, she's more of a gamble uh, than a merchant where you can trade blood shards for a chance at getting a legendary weapon or item. You can choose a category for her to make. And there is a chance, I'm not sure the chance though, uh, I think it might be 10% again, um, a chance of getting a legendary item from her. Uh, so that's where the blood shards come in. And we will be doing that in the near future. Because it is fun. Uh, it's not a, a, a case of you're either going to get a legendary uh, item or nothing. You do get an item. Lovely. <laughs> um, you don't leave empty handed uh, is what I'm trying to say, you do get some, uh, you do get an item, it may not be a legendary, it may not even be a good item, but you do get something, so it's not completely, I do remember when they first introduced her though, it was much cheaper, um, like now it's like 75 uh, blood shards per item, but back in the start, I'm pretty sure it used to be five. Uh, but obviously they've patched it, um, they've nerfed her a bit. Um, but I think they have actually increased her chance to give you um, a legendary item, but just made it more expensive to try. Again, I'm only going from memory and I've not played in a fair while. So don't quote me on it, and please do uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So that golden arrow is pointing to the uh, the enemy we do have to kill. And they do appear to be in that room through there. So I do have a... oh, there we go. Uh, I do have a, a damage globe, so I'm going to make use of it and just wail on our target. Because they can be quite uh, tanky. And that's the bounty complete. Happy days. I didn't get much items from this, du uh, this dungeon, I have to say. Uh, but we're nearly up another level, we're nearly at level 10. Nearly into double figures. And we will get a passive ability at level 10, if I remember rightly. Eh, uh, let's return to town and pick up another bounty, but I will check my equipment and get rid of... Uh, free up some space and salvage some stuff and all that good stuff. Um, so I didn't get much uh, equipment-wise. 
Uh, gold pickup, that is absolutely no use to me. Uh, to do, to do range and melee attackers take one damage per hit. I would rather have the 15 vitality if I'm being honest. So let's salvage all this stuff we don't want. And see if there's anything else that has to be jumped. There is nothing, so happy days. Uh, this is the, the woman I was telling you about here. Uh, so yep, she has 75 uh, blood shards for a weapon, 25 for armor, 100 for amulets, and 50 for rings. Yeah, so we will be playing her later. Uh, I do say play because she has a bit of a gamble. And let us, I'll check my merchant very quickly just to see. Did you? I think I might. Uh, 3 to 4 damage, 12 vitality, 2 life per hit, and 3 experience per kill. Slightly less damage, I'll just stick with what I have, uh, to be honest, for now. Now there are, I have no mail, nobody's been sending me any uh, items. Um, there are some new features um, to that have been added to adventure mode in the latest patch. And I'm trying to remember what they are. Kazra Den, I've done that in the last one. Uh, bound to the Cost Camp, let's do that one in the Southern Highlands. Southern Highlands can be quite um, difficult. There's these flying enemies that I'm just about to encounter right here actually. That can't, yep, these ones here. These can do plenty of damage to you and cause you a bit of bother if they do catch you unaware. Uh, so that is the, the passive item uh, unlocked as uh, as I thought. Uh, what else was I saying? I was saying something and then I forgot what I was saying. That's not so good. Uh, so let's see, passives, what have we got? Well, wielding a one-handed weapon, your attack speed is increased by 15% and all cooldowns are reduced by 15%. That is really good. You can wield a two-handed weapon in your main hand while bearing a shield in your off-hand. That is really good! I'm going to use that when I get a two-handed weapon. That, that almost seems too good. So I'll need to see how that works um, when it comes to it. But we have took the increased... Uh, attack speed for now, and let's wail on some uh, Dark Moon Goatmen. I can't remember what I was saying before. I do that all the time. <laughs> uh, so if I do start waffling on about something and then suddenly stop, and uh, you're thinking to yourself, wait, what were you going to say? Tell me. Just leave me a comment and I will get back to it because my memory is fucking... It can be atrocious at times. And I do get easily distracted while I'm waffling. Uh, a lot is shamed. A vortex enemy. I can't remember what vortex does actually. He's blinded now anyway. Oh, I have a new taunt to try out, don't I? I'll try that with a group of enemies the next time uh, I find myself among one. I do need to sort out my damage output because it is a bit embarrassing for the moment. Uh, at the moment. Uh, also, taking requests for the next character I do um, after uh, Crusader. And if you do want to join me in my Let's Play, if you want to play alongside me, leave me a comment, or tweet at me, or leave me a message on my Facebook group, uh, Facebook page, sorry. All these are linked um, on my uh, channel profile. So just give me a shout. Well done Templar, taking that charge for me. I know it does seem very easy, uh, the game does seem very easy just now um, if you're watching and it is, uh, it is very easy but what I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be putting the difficulty up uh, very soon, uh, I do put the difficulty up in 
uh, stages. Um, not at set levels, just when I start to find the game a little too difficult, uh, a little uh, too easy, I do put the difficulty up. I'm finding it easy, so I will put the difficulty up in the next episode, I think. And... Is there something else I was going to say? And eventually we will end up on uh, Torment um, for the Greater Riss um, later on. These, my damage output is not ideal for doing this shrine. Uh, this shrine, you've got to defeat each um, wave of enemies before uh, the timer runs out. And it is going to be very close because my damage output is awful. We will need to sort that very soon. I'll be very surprised if I manage this, but I do have a double damage orb now, which does help. And another one. So I'm only interested in the the enemies with the gold. Uh, there was other enemies that ran into the area there, uh, but they aren't actually part of uh, these waves. And I'm missing one. I think I did manage to do that. I think I was to clear five waves, and I did clear five waves. So I have this champion here to deal with. Nobody going to give me a weapon? No. Yep, so I'm looking for uh, players to play with uh, alongside me on my Let's Play. So if you do fancy joining me in my videos and uh, any future ones indeed, just leave me a message. And I'll get back to you. I'm playing on PlayStation 4 of course, so you have to own uh, a copy of Diablo uh, free on the PlayStation 4. Did I say PlayStation 3 a minute ago? I'm playing on the PlayStation 4, just to be very clear. Um, Alright, so what did we get? I got a shiv. Absolutely no use. Um, plus 10 dexterity is no use to this character. We are a strength based character. Uh, salvage these. Happy days. Let's see if this merchant has anything. Nope, just the same. There is another merchant round here, I think. Here he is. What have you got? Three to four holy damage plus nine dexterity. Mm, no, as uh, almost a twenty-five percent increase in damage output, um, and the dexterity doesn't bother me too much because it is just the. It would be different if the weapon that I'm currently using. Uh, provided a uh, uh, strength upgrade, but it doesn't, so it doesn't matter that that one had uh, dexterity. Uh, I do need level 12 for... Can I make a dagger at level 10? Uh, I can make a shiv. A witch doctor only for that one. Uh, let's try making a shiv and see what we get. Uh, 3 to 4 poison damage, you know what, taking away the uh, 2 vitality that that one gave me, the, the shiv is much better for us, so happy to have done that. Uh, what time are we on for this video? Because that has done 2... Yep, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here, uh, but join me uh, in the very near future for the next episode where I will continue uh, my Crusader playthrough and then on to the other um, characters. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. It means a lot, helps the channel grow, and of course hit the subscribe button for more videos in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.